Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Aaron Davison. And I'm Tom Zalaski. As police continue to investigate the deaths of two young Kakana children. A vigil is being planned to help the community heal. Local 5's Rhonda Fox brings us this story. My heart goes out to them. I think about those two little kids every single day. Residents of Kakana are still reeling from the February 16th deaths of William and Danielle Beyer. After finding out like the horrible news, um, the first day was really hard for me because I have a son who also goes to Tanner. Um, and I also have a son who is a year younger than Danielle. Even though there's been no update regarding the deaths of William and Danielle, neighbors still plan to come together as one community. I wanted to actually do something to help people who felt the same way as I did because I'm assuming other people felt just as like heartbroken and upset as I as I do. Well, it's a very dark time for us here in the city of Kakana, and it's important that we come together as a community so we can heal and move on from this incident. It's a, it's a tragic event. Residents have planned a vigil for the community to mend and also show the power of one town. We want it to be like a loving, peaceful environment where everyone feels welcome, especially people here in Kakana, because they know the Kakana strong thing and they know like the orange and black colors. At a time when there's been more questions, organizers hope this vigil will offer some peace, even though there have been no answers. In Kakana, Rhonda Fox, Local 5 News. Thank you, Rhonda. The vigil will be held Friday. Those who attend are encouraged to wear orange and black. Visit our website, wearegreenbay.com, to learn more and how you can help.